Good evening, everyone. How the fuck are you guys? You know, ever since I got quit smoking, I, I've developed, like, a lollipop habit. It's really fucking disgusting. Um, it doesn't cost as much, but I'll take it. Um, anyway, I wanted to do a video response to A.M. Hemsley and um, sort of talk about Nuclear Nights videos a little bit and this whole pornography topic that's been going on. Uh, especially, like, I saw, I saw Vogter again. He did some videos in response to A.M. Hemsley, and I, I, I've been watching your videos. This is a response to you, obviously, sort of, kind of. And I, I've been watching your videos tonight, and uh, you were talking about how people were comparing your sexuality and or kind of taking, like, your sexuality and saying, well, that's why you feel the way you do about pornography. And... I think that's kind of silly. I, I don't agree with that. There was some talk in Stickham last night about this very conversation, and there was a guy in there talking about how, um, you know, well, these people don't have a sex drive, so they don't have the right to comment on it. And yet, it, now, now I find that a little stupid. I'll be honest. That that's that's fucking stupid. That's like saying because I'm not a homosexual, then I don't have any right to make commentary about the issues that homosexuals are dealing with in this country and any other country and yada yada. I mean, anybody could see that's a, that's a stupid thing to say. Um, I guess, to some small degree, it could affect your opinion, but, but I think if you're an intelligent thinking person, like I believe you to be, AM, then um, it's not really, your sexuality is not really going to get in the way of your opinion too much when it comes to pornography. So I don't see that. But what I do want to say is, um, first of all, you mentioned normal. Like, you were surprised that, um, use that word, people use that word normal as if it's not a valid word. Um, you say, normal exists. I mean, I hate to tell you this, but, but it is normal, meaning the way I see normal is typical. Normal is just typical. If something typically happens, it happens more times than not, then it becomes the norm, and people recognize that as the most normal thing to see. Um, that doesn't mean everyone has to share that opinion or whatever, but normal exists. You have to acknowledge that. And when you talk about asexuality, I don't give a fuck that you're asexual or whatever, but it's not typical at all, and people are never going to go, well, that's just another asexual walking around, you know, I mean, you have to expect that people are going to be like, what? I don't get it, because it's not fucking normal, and if that bothers you, I'm sorry. Now, I don't think because your sexuality is not typical that you should be treated like shit, or that your opinion should not count, or that you shouldn't have the right to vote or something or bigotry should, you know, or my bigotry about it should have any effect on your life. No, that's not what I'm saying. I'm just saying you have to be ready for people to go, that's not exactly typical. And that's what people are doing. I mean, you're intelligent. Not everyone's going to go, oh, you have absolutely no sex drive. I hear that all the time. That's not what I hear all the time. But anyway, anyway. First of all, when it comes to me, I'm not a big pornography kind of guy. But I have no problem with it. Zero, zip, not a fucking problem with it. Um, the, the only thing that I really have a problem with in any industry, any industry, any market, any career, any whatever, is force. That's it. Someone being somehow forced to perform or do a certain thing that they would rather not do, um, that that's where I draw the line. And I think that's a pretty fair place to draw the line. Um, and, and people talk about um, pornography as exploitation. I, I just can't see that. I can't see how someone who walks into a building and says, sign me up for the gangbang next Tuesday. Sign me up for the gangbang. I want 65 guys to um, fuck me in the ass. That's what I want. Fifteen hundred dollars? Fifteen hundred bucks? No, 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 no. Uh, yeah, that's good. Fifteen hundred dollars? Okay, I'll do it. Sign the contract. 
go in and do it. It's voluntary. It's voluntary. How you call this exploitation, I don't know. I mean, and if what was said in a video I saw by a uh, angry islander the other night, if what she said is true, like one of these girls was only paid like fifteen hundred bucks to have like sixty five dudes fuck her. I mean, sixteen hundred dollars is not that hard to come by if you're willing to let sixty five men fuck you. There are other things that you can do for money. There are other things that you can do to save up sixteen hundred motherfucking dollars. I mean, really, you don't have to be rich. You don't have to make $1,600 in one night. That's not what you have to do. No one is forcing these people to do these things. Um, anyway, the bottom line is, without that force, without being forced, physically, literally forced, to do something, I have a hard time calling it exploitation. I mean, I really do. In that case, anyone that has a job that has a job to make money to pay the rent to at, at any in any way shape or form any, they're, they're being exploited fucking exploited everyone is being exploited who shows up for work because everyone is doing something for money that they otherwise would not do um, so anyway I'm going through some comments I'm reading the comments and uh, this guy only when provoked and, and if you don't know who only when provoked is you need to know. Uh, one of my favorite YouTubers, he always has good things to say, but he says this in the comment section of, I think it was Vogtu's video, but he says, quote, prostitution will always be there, no matter how much people <laughs> wag their pious little fingers at it, no matter how many fascist laws people force on these women. And, and that's kind of what I'm thinking. Prostitution and quote unquote violent pornography these things exist because people make it fucking possible. Um, there's a market for that sort of shit, obviously, so it exists. Um, there you have it, and people show up to be a part of this. You know, um, I don't have a problem with that, that type of pornography, but I know that, it, that if I wanted to make some money, I wouldn't show up to one of these buildings and go, uh, yeah, let 60 men come on me. Um, because I need a thousand dollars. I mean, I'm never going to do that. It, and I don't have to do that. I can work at fucking Dairy Mart and save my money for the goddamn DVD player I want. Where does this exploitation come into play? And if this is exploitation, what the fuck are you going to do about it? There's obviously a market for this type of pornography. And, and I don't really give a shit that um, you don't like it or you don't want to watch it or you're not going to support the industry, you're not going to buy it. I'm not because I'm not really into seeing people or women getting choked and fucked by hundreds of guys or whatever. That's not my thing. But I'm not on ever going to be on some crusade to keep people from buying it and to keep people from participating. I don't like it. I just stay away from it. It only exists because the market for it exists as well. And until enough people feel like you or me, A.M. Hemsley, then that shit's just going to be around. There's such a thing as normal. And unfortunately, the norm is being really fucked up, apparently. But anyway, please.